Welcome to Trinod Chemistry Classes. In this video, I am going to discuss about intermediate second year chemistry topic organic compounds containing nitrogen. This is my second video in this topic. In my first video, I have discussed about what are the various organic compounds containing nitrogen are present. In that video, there are various types of organic compounds containing nitrogen are present, such as amines, nitro compounds, nitrito compounds, cyanides, isocyanides, amides, disonium salts, like this various organic compounds containing nitrogen are present. In that, I have discussed about amines. What are amines? In ammonia, ammonia amines are the derivatives of ammonia in which one of the one or two or three hydrogens are replaced with alkyl or aryl groups. Alkyl or aryl groups. Based on the how many hydrogens replaced, amines are classified into primary amines. If one hydrogen is replaced with alkyl or aryl group, it is called primary amine. If two hydrogens are replaced, it is called the secondary amine. If three hydrogens are replaced, it is called tertiary amine. And I have also discussed how to name these amines by means of common system and IUPAC system. In this video, I am going to discuss about I am going to discuss about various preparation methods for the synthesis of amines. Please like the video, share, and subscribe the channel. Preparation of amines. The first one is reduction of nitro compound. First method is reduction of nitro compounds. We know that the organic compounds containing NO2 group are called nitro compounds. Organic compounds containing NO2 group are called nitro compounds. When these nitro compounds are treated with, nitro compounds are treated with, when nitro compounds are treated with, treated with hydrogen gas hydrogen gas in the presence of in the presence of nickel in the presence of nickel or platinum or palladium when hydrogen gas when uh, nitro compounds are treated with hydrogen gas in the presence of finely divided powder finely divided nickel or palladium or platinum amine salt Amines are formed. This reduction reaction can also be carried out by using metals in acid, in acidic medium, metals in acidic medium, such as iron by HCl or tin by HCl, tin by HCl, amines are formed. When nitro compounds are treated with hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel, palladium, or pallad, platinum or palladium, are treated with metals in acidic medium such as iron by HCl or tin by HCl, nitro compounds are reduced to amines. This reaction can also be carried out by using reducing reagents such as lithium aluminum hydride. Lithium aluminum hydride. This reaction can also be carried out by using some reducing reagents such as lithium aluminum hydride. When nitro compounds are treated with hydrogen in the presence of nickel, palladium or platinum or treated with metals in the presence of acids in acidic medium such as iron by HCl or tin by HCl or treated with some reducing agents such as lithium aluminum hydride, nitro compounds are reduced to, nitro compounds are reduced to amines. Nitro compounds are reduced to amines. Let me take some examples. When this is called nitrobenzene, this is called nitrobenzene. When treated with tin by HCl or iron by HCl, iron by HCl, aniline is formed. We know that its name is aniline and is a primary. Similarly, the same conversion can also be carried out. When hydrogen, when nitrobenzene is treated with hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel, palladium or 
platinum palladium or platinum so similarly alka uh, nitro alkene salts nitro alkene salts treated with h2 by nickel we will get r n h hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel palladium or platinum similarly the same reaction can also be carried out h2 by palladium or h2 by platinum h2 by platinum so this is about uh, reduction of nitro compounds when nitro compounds are treated with or nitro compounds are treated with hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel palladium or platinum reduction takes place and nitro compounds are reduced to mn nitro compounds are reduced to mn and uh, the second method is second method is ammonolysis of alkyl halides the second method is ammonolysis of alkyl halides ammonolysis of alkyl halides what is ammonolysis of alkyl halides we know that alkyl or aryl halides means in alkenes what is the general formula of alkene cm h2n plus 2 in alkenes one of the hydrogen is replaced with halogen halogens means such as fluorine chlorine bromine iodine chlorine fluorine bromine iodine we know that 17th group group 17 elements are called halogens in all kinds one of the hydrogen is replaced with the halogen then the compounds are called alkyl halides similarly in benzene one of the hydrogen is replaced with the halogen one of the hydrogen is replaced with the replaced with the uh, benzene now uh, halogen these are called aryl halides aryl halides so what is the ammonolysis of uh, alkyl halides or aryl halides when alkyl halides or aryl halides alkyl halides or aryl halides are treated with alcoholic solution of ammonia alcoholic solution of ammonia alcoholic solution of ammonia what happens is nucleophilic substitution reaction occurs nucleophilic substitution reaction occurs nucleophilic substitution reaction occurs and amines are formed and amines are formed when alkyl halides or aryl halides are treated with alcoholic solution of ammonia alcoholic solution of ammonia nucleophilic substitution reaction takes place and amines are formed amines are formed in this reaction what is happening is ammonia acts as a nucleophile ammonia acts as a nucleophile and uh, here this reaction follows nucleophilic substitution by molecular mechanism nucleophilic substitution by molecular mechanism when alkyl halides or aryl halides are treated with are treated with ammonia are treated with alcoholic solution of ammonia nucleophilic substitution reaction takes place and amines are formed amines are formed what happens is in this halogen group is replaced with amine group halogen group is replaced with amine group and here ammonia acts as a nucleophile and this reaction is an example for the nucleophilic substitution reaction and this reaction follows sn2 mechanism sn2 mechanism this reaction we are also calling it as a hofmann's ammonolysis hofmann's ammonolysis this reaction we are calling it as the hofmann's ammonolysis this reaction we are calling it as the hofmann's ammonolysis for example when methyl chloride is treated with methyl chloride is treated with ammonia methyl chloride is treated with ammonia initially we will get primary amines initially we will get primary amines initially we will get primary amines on further reaction on further treatment with alkyl chloride we will get secondary amines ch n ch3 H. so this is secondary amine this is called primary amine this is called primary amine and on further reaction on further reaction 
on further reaction with alkyl have we will get a tertiary amount. We will get a tertiary amount. On further reaction, we will get a quaternary ammonium salt. Quaternary ammonium salt. Yesterday in, in my previous video, I have discussed what is quaternary ammonium salt. When in tertiary amount, uh, the lone pair of electrons is donated to the alkyl group, then the whatever salt is formed, that is called quaternary ammonium salt. This ammonolysis, Hoffman's ammonolysis reaction involves the real treatment of uh, when alkyl halides are treated with ammonia. Initially, we will get primary amines. When these amines are on further reaction with the alkyl halides, we will get secondary amine. On further reaction with the tertiary amines and on further reaction, we will get uh, quaternary ammonium salts. Quaternary ammonium salts. So this reaction we are calling it as the Hoffman's ammonolysis. When alkyl halides or aryl halides, alkyl halides or aryl halides are treated with alkyl halides or aryl halides are treated with ammonia, ammonia nucleophilic substitution reaction takes place and uh, amines are formed. Amines are formed. So, order of reactivity of order of reactivity of reactivity of alkyl halides is a methyl halide for more reactive than primary alkyl halides, primary alkyl halides, which are more reactive than secondary alkyl halides, which are more reactive than tertiary alkyl halides, which are more reactive than tertiary alkyl halides. The order of reactivity of various alkyl halides is Methyl chloride is more, methyl halide is more reactive than primary alkyl halide, which is more reactive than secondary alkyl halide, which is more reactive than tertiary alkyl. This is an important point of view in any kind of entrance cell term such as M set, F set, or meet GE mains. To, to get the, the ammonolysis, of months ammonolysis, what is our final product? If treated with an alkyl halides are treated with Amines, alkyl halides are treated with ammonium. Amines are formed. Amines are formed. Here, if you take, if you take excess ammonia, excess ammonia, when, when alkyl halides are treated with excess ammonia, we will get primary amines. Primary amines. We will get primary amines. When excess ammonia is treated with, when excess ammonia is treated with alkyl halides, to get primary amine as the major product, we need to uh, treat alkyl halides with excess of ammonia. When excess of alkyl halide is, excess of alkyl halide is treated with ammonia, we will get quaternary. Initially, primary amines are formed. Initially, primary amines. Then on further reaction, it forms secondary amine. And on further reaction, it forms tertiary amine. And finally, we will get quaternary ammonium salt. Quaternary ammonium salt. Generally, tertiary alkyl halides. Generally, tertiary alkyl halides do not undergo substitution reaction. Do not undergo substitution reaction with ammonia. Do not undergo tertiary Tertiary alkyl halides. Tertiary alkyl halides do not undergo, do not undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction with ammonia. With ammonia. Instead of that, elimination takes place and alkynes are formed. Alkynes are formed. So this is about the Hoffman's ammonolysis. Hoffman's ammonolysis. And uh, third one is reduction of nitrate. So nitriles means the carbonic compounds contain C triple bond and are called nitriles, which are also called as cyanides. Which are also called as cyanides. Which are also called as cyanides. When alkyl cyanides or aryl cyanides on reduction with reducing agents such as lithium aluminum hydride or H2 by nickel, H2 by nickel. H2 by nickel or sodium amalgam by alcohol. 
sodium amalgam by alcohol. Sodium amalgam by alcohol. When alkyl halides are treated, when alkyl nitriles are treated with, when nitriles are treated with, treated with uh, reducing agents such as lithium aluminum hydride, hydride or uh, the hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel. This is nothing but catalytic hydrogenation. This is nothing but catalytic hydrogenation or treatment with sodium amalgam by ethanol. Reduction takes place and amines are formed. Amines are formed. Primary amines are formed. When nitriles or cyanides are treated with lithium aluminum hydride or hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel or sodium amalgam by ethanol. Sodium amalgam by ethanol, we will get primary amines. Similarly, the organic compounds containing NC group are called isocyanides, isonitrides, when treated with lithium aluminum hydride or H2 by a nickel, we will get secondary amines. We will get secondary amines. When nitriles are treated with or uh, reduced with treated with reducing agents such as lithium aluminum hydride or treated with hydrogen gas in the presence of nickel, uh, primary amines are formed. When the same reaction is carried out with isocyanides or nitri isonitriles, these are isocyanides. These two are functional group isomers. These two are functional group isomers. Right? When cyanides are treated with lithium aluminum hydride, primary amines are formed. When isocyanides are treated with lithium aluminum hydride, secondary amines are formed. Secondary amines are formed. For example, when CH3CM treated with lithium aluminum hydride, what we will get? CH3, CH2, CH3, CH2, NH2, primary amines are formed. So this is nothing but reduction of uh, reduction of uh, nitriles and isonitriles. That is nothing but cyanides and isocyanides. Then next one is reduction of amides. Reduction of amides. Now what are amides? The organic compounds containing COnH2 group are called amides. The organic compounds containing COnH2 group are called amides. So when amides are treated with lithium aluminum hydride, when amides are treated with lithium aluminum hydride, lithium aluminum hydride, primary amines are formed. Primary amines are formed. When amides are treated with amides means the compounds having COnH2 group are called amides. COnH2 group are called amides and when amides are treated with amides are treated with lithium aluminum hydride lithium aluminum hydride we will get primary amines we will get primary amines so this is regarding uh, reduction of reduction of amides so these are the various preparation methods one is reduction of nitro compound second one is ammonolysis third one is reduction of uh, nitriles and third one fourth one is reduction of uh, amides reduction of amides thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes please like share and subscribe the channel